Good morning, you guys. Welcome to today's video with my cat. Every single time I start a try-on, you somehow interrupt it. This is by far the earliest. Can I say hello? <laughs> okay, you're gonna break something. Anyway, welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, it is a big Lululemon haul slash try on. Um, this video is actually sponsored by Lululemon. <sighs> That's very exciting for me to say because you guys know I have plenty of Lulu stuff. I've been wearing their items for a very long time. Um, I, as soon as the first Lulu opened up in Columbus, I started shopping at it. That was back in middle school. And then I worked at Lululemon and now fitness is my job. Basically I'm a personal trainer and I literally live in activewear. Layla, it's not for you. She's trying to get in the bag. So yeah, I'm very excited to be a part of Lululemon's collective Okay, you know what? We're just gonna hold bag because Layla's trying to get inside it. Apparently she thinks she would look cute in some leggings and sports bra. You guys may have noticed for the last like month or two months, I've had a Lululemon link in the bottom of all of my videos and on my Instagram. That is basically like an affiliate slash athlete link, very similar to what I have with Bomar Nutrition. If you guys do like something I'm wearing and you end up purchasing it through that link, I can make a little bit of commission through it, which, you know, is not why I'm wearing Lululemon. As you can tell, if you haven't seen my Lulu collection video, I've been shopping there for a long time. I spend way too much money there, but I justify it because that is basically what I spend my money on because I'm a personal trainer, because fitness is my job, that's what I live in. That really is the only thing I spend my money on other than food. So without further ado, we're gonna get into this try on. I feel like I've been blabbing already. The cat's messing things up, but it's fine. Let's get right on into it. There is one item included in this try on that I didn't technically get at the same time, um, but I really wanna show you guys I've been getting a lot of questions over them and I meant to get them in another color, but the Lulu I went shopping at, um, they're doing a store renovation, so they just basically moved their current store to another location in the mall that was a lot smaller, so they didn't have as much inventory um, and they didn't have the shorts I wanted in the other color. So I'm showing you the original ones I got, but other than that, all of this is very recent. Um, and the shorts that I'm showing you, they still have. <sighs> I'm so excited to get into this. Okay, all of the items will be linked down below. Um, I also have a like to know it account and try to list everything on there because most of the questions I get on Instagram and on my YouTube videos are either about songs or clothing or this necklace. So my like to know it, I tried to link all of my outfits, ones that you see on here that aren't linked, ones that are on like Instagram stories. I try to list everything, um, but all of the items will be listed down below. But we are gonna start off with the shorts I was telling you about. They didn't have the ones I wanted in store, but they are the cinch and stretch short two and a half inch. I used to have a really hard time and like struggled finding shorts that fit me well, that I felt confident in, and recently, Lulu has been killing the game. Their line shorts, I absolutely love. Those aren't in here. However, these new cinch and stretch shorts, I did get them in a size six, just because any short with built-in underwear, I tend to have to size up or else it cuts into my bum. Don't like that. These ones though, oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. They're this really thin, like you guys can see when you stretch it, you can see through it a little bit. Don't worry about that. There is built-in underwear, so you can't see your bum. But I've been absolutely loving these. They're a little higher waisted, so they sit higher than most of their other shorts, like the Speed Short and Hottie Hot. Um, they're called a cinch short because you can cinch this side piece up. However, I've never done that. I just love them because they're so breathable. They are perfect for the summer. They fit really well but they also don't hug my thighs which i like the more i've been lifting the bigger my quads get and usually shorts just like cling on to my thighs these ones don't do that i just think they're so flattering and unbelievably comfortable if you are in the market for some new shorts i would highly recommend these i think they're adorable right now they're just available in this black color and then the color i was going to get was it's called moonwalk I don't know if you guys can see that. It's like a charcoal gray color. Um, those are the ones I was gonna get. They would have been in this try on, but because of the limited stock, I wasn't able to get them. 
love those though. Next item up was actually inspired by Christopher. He has been loving one of his pairs of joggers. I think they're called the Surge joggers. Most of you watching this are probably female, so you don't care, but he's been loving the Surge joggers. The only joggers I have from Lulu are like the old school base runners. Those are in my whole Lulu collection video. Um, but these are more of like a performance feel, so I was like, shoot, let's give them a try. They came out with a pair that seemed very similar to the guys' ones, and I ended up getting them because Chris was like, I like those, they look great, and I was like, yeah, these are really comfortable. I'm totally getting these. They are the on-the-fly jogger. I also got these in a size six. The girls in there told me that these tended to run a little bit smaller. The material just naturally doesn't stretch as much, but they are so stinking cute. You guys really won't be able to get the picture until they're on, but they're higher waisted. You have the pocket on the side, and as all joggers do, it obviously gets tighter at the bottom, and the bottom material is a little bit different than the actual pant material. It's not necessarily like a windbreaker material. It is just different. Apple woven fabric is wrinkle free, machine washable, and quick drying with a sleek drape. So, these bad boys, I'm super excited about them. They did come in this really cute, kind of like a gray, taupey color. I tried those on first. For some reason, I ended up liking the black better. I was assuming I was going to like the gray, but regardless, I got myself a pair. My cat's trying to climb the wall. I don't know what's wrong with her. If you guys watch my daily vlogs, you know she's insane and my other two cats are just like old chill they just watch her run around and be an idiot <laughs> okay so moving on love these guys i love joggers for fall winter spring summer sign me up i always love my joggers they're perfect for summer nights always comfy still look cute and you don't have to worry about the bottom dragging around getting all gross like normal sweatpants so I love those. This next item honestly might be one that I'm most excited about. Um, was not one I was planning on getting because I didn't know they had it. I have to limit myself to like how often I can get on their website or their app because I clearly have a problem in addiction <laughs> to Lulu. So I try to limit myself. This is fairly new and I didn't know they had it and I was pumped. They have it in from what, on the website. I saw they had it in two different colors in this color that I got and in black. It is a maxi dress, super cute. There's a little keyhole in the back. Where's the tag? I also got this in a size six. I'm usually a six in sports bras and tops. Tops I can kind of fluctuate between a four or six depending on the fit. Leggings, I'm always a size four, um, except for joggers. And obviously if certain materials don't stretch as much, I have to size up to a six, especially going back to my quads getting bigger. You know, that's just the, reality. This is called the Restore and Revitalized Dress. Like I said, I did get this in a size 6. I saw that it was offered in black and in this color. I originally tried on the black in a size 4. It fit. It was just very, very form-fitting. Um, I am a little bit taller too, so I kind of like having a little extra length. Chris and some of the other girls working there who I used to work with asked me to try on this color. So I tried this on in a 6 and actually ended up really, really liking the way the 6 fit. And the color is so cute so I had to take it home I do have one other maxi dress from them like I said but it was like super old and I ended up getting it I think off of like Poshmark or something if you can ever snag one of their maxi dresses I highly recommend you do um, I personally like the full-length ones they did have some that were like more of like three-fourths those just in my opinion look kind of funky on me I think because I'm taller it just kind of hits me at a weird spot but their maxi dresses are so comfortable. You can definitely dress them up, but it's also perfect, I thought, for like when we go on our honeymoon to Maui. Be comfy, cute, maybe a little casual, or dress it up. I don't know, I have options. Oh, <laughs> I forgot about these two. I'm equally as excited about these. They reminded me a lot of a tank top I have from like two or three years ago that I'm obsessed with. I still get a lot of questions over but they hadn't brought anything out like that in a long time. This is like the most comparable one I would say they've come out with since. It is the Seek Simplicity Tank. I got it in two colors. This one, I did get in a size four. The six looked 
baggy in areas where it just clearly wasn't supposed to be baggy. So if something's supposed to be tight fitted, I get it in a four. If something, if I want something to be a little bit bigger, I obviously get it in a size six. I feel like that makes sense. You guys probably do the same thing. So fours and sixes, I just fluctuate between. This tank top is supposed to be tight. If, it, if it's not tight, it kind of looks a little funky. So the reason I love this is because it has a scoop in the back. Um, the old tank top I'm referencing has a bigger scoop in the back, but it still has the same high neck. I just think it's very, very flattering. This material is definitely a lot thinner and like stretchier than my other one. Um, but I just think it's so cute. This is offered in I think four, four different colors. Um, absolutely love that. And then I got it in this really cute baby blue color. <sighs> Adorable. I love these. And yeah, like I said, these are both in a size four. Anything open back, sign me up. High neck open back is probably like one of my favorite styles of tank tops of really anything, of dresses. I just think it's adorable. I got two sports bras. One of them will not surprise you guys. If you do watch my normal videos and you've just been following me for a while, you know this is like my favorite Lulu sports bra. I live for the free to be wilds. It's also uh, very clear that I like my light pastel colors. Um, sports bras, I always, ha always have to get in a size six from there just because I have a pretty broad rib cage. Also with lifting, lats get bigger. The fours, I just kind of feel like it's squeezing me and uncomfortable. And once I start sweating, it's very hard to get a four off. Like I almost feel like I'm stuck in it. So sixes fit me perfect. Um, I love the Free To Be Wild because it has the strappy back. The one thing though, it obviously is not going to offer a ton of support. I don't have a lot going on in the chest region. So something like this, I can literally wear for any workout um, just because I don't necessarily need the support, but I absolutely love these. I think the color is very cute. The next sports bra I got is called the Ebb to Street Bra and it's actually a seamless material. It is super cute. It has the option to clip in the back like that or you can have it unclipped, just single straps like that. Um, I've seen this a lot on social media recently. I see it a lot on Instagram. Um, I thought it might be too low cut for me to be like comfortable in the gym, but once I tried it on, I actually loved it. I like how it's a little bit longer lined on the bottom. Um, yeah, I thought this was super cute. I can always use an extra white sports bra. White obviously tends to get dingy <laughs> pretty quickly when you wear them as often as I do. So this was definitely a good snag and I'm excited to like switch up the style of sports bras I have because basically over half of my sports bras are all the free to be wild. So venturing out, trying something new, very excited about the, hold on, Ebb to Street Bra. Last but definitely not least, you guys know how I feel about my line pants. I have basically all of the ones they've ever come out with. They're just the best, you know, they're fantastic. And these ones were also a little out of my comfort zone. I didn't think I would like them. I thought it was too much for me. I'm a pretty basic person, if you can't tell by all of these solid colors. Um, but these ones, I was shocked. I absolutely love them. They are this really cute floral print. It's like purple, blue, and black. Um, yeah, definitely a little out of my comfort zone, a little busier than I normally get. Align pants are always very soft and buttery and just, you know, give you that naked sensation. These, I don't know why, if it's just the pattern on them, they're like softer than the normal ones in my opinion. <laughs> Once again, I don't know why, maybe mine are just starting to get worn in, probably are, but I'm obsessed with these. I think they're so cute. I tried them on with this bra and it just looked adorable. This one would be cute with it. Yeah, I was like, I tried these on and came out expecting Chris to be like, mm, I think that's a bit much. And he was like, wow, I like those. And I was like, you know what? Sold. There was a couple items I left at the store, unfortunately. Um, obviously can't buy everything. Even with my like sweat collected discount it adds up and I don't need everything right now, but they did have some really cute items on there. We made too much section. I posted a few of those on 
my closet by Kel Instagram and also my like to know it. So I will always try to post as much as I can on there because I know you guys are interested in my outfits. Um, so yeah, definitely check that out. There was some items I didn't get, but I think I listed most of them on there. That is gonna be it for this Lululemon try on and haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, comment down below. I, like I said, will link all of the items in the description below. If there's items you're interested in that I didn't list in here like that I have, I had previously, you can look on my like to know it. I try to link everything on there or just ask in the comment section. I think that's it. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and you can hit the little bell notification to get notified whenever I post. I think based off of all of the requests I've been getting, I might be doing another like updated Lulu collection soon with the newer stuff I've bought. <sighs> that gives me a little bit of anxiety just to think about it because that video took me so long to record and then edit and put together because once again, I kind of have a problem. It's fine, um, but that might be coming soon. So comment also down below if you'd like to see that or maybe just like jackets or sports bras or something maybe a little bit more specific. Let me know. I would love to make more videos like this because they're fun. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching again and I will see you in the next video.